<laughs> How much, much of that did you... Never mind. Welcome to the <coughs> Home School Hub. My name is Phil and you are in my space, my musical space, because I was having a bit of a dance and that is perfectly all right. In fact, I encourage it. I am welcoming you to this space because today, not only was I listening to some music, but we're going to be talking about sound today. And everything that I do today will be sound because you will have, be able to have a go of it yourself. Uh, you'll be able to engineer your own little sound mixing station. We're going to talk about speakers and actually how they work. And we're going to do a little bit of an experiment so not only can you hear sound, but potentially that you might be able to see it with stuff that you can try yourself. So what you will need for this is a bowl, and this can be any kind of a bowl or, or, or opening that there is kind of, even a box will work. We're gonna put some uh, cling film over it, and we're gonna drape this over our bowl here, and we're gonna create like a drum. And drums are often the kind of things you'd imagine you'd hear sound, like when you hit them, you create noise. And what you're actually creating when you hit a drum is you're creating vibrations. And sound is a vibration. There are different types of waves in science. There are, hello waves. There are transverse waves that you'll see that go up and down like the ocean. But then there are something else called longitudinal waves. And those are waves, sound waves that kind of compress and move around and they transfer and travel in vibrations. And sound travels differently depending on what material it's traveling through. If it's going through air, I'll sound like this. If I was traveling through water, it'll travel much quicker. And that means it will sound a little bit different. Okay, so I have put sandwich cling film that we have reused, repurposed here and you'll hear now that the, because of that taut nature means it's been stretched you can hear it kind of vibrating now but that is not the experiment i, that, I wouldn't leave you with just with that. Oh, as much fun as this will be to bang away we're going to make much more annoying noise shortly so what we've done is we have this ready to go we're now going to get my favorite ingredient to use which is and i have not hundreds but thousands hundreds and thousands because it's hundreds and thousands i'm going to open this and I'm going to, I'm not going to eat them yet, yet, but I'm going to put some on top of this. You'll hear the noise. Whoop. Oh, they look so colorful. You can hear them there. Oh, they're spilling all over. I'm, I will clean this up. Don't, don't worry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down nice and low. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hum. So humming vibrations here, going to transfer into sound. Sound will travel through a vibration in the air cause these to then vibrate and dance, hopefully. Ready? So I'm gonna start over here and then come close. You ready? Mm -hmm. I think that worked. I didn't expect that to work so well. That's awesome. So let's see if we can try it with something bigger and see if it'll work that way. So I brought in some breakfast with me, some little uh, brown uh, blisters of air, little cocoa, cocoa rice things. So if I put them there. Now, will these, the vibration needs to be big enough to make these go, but let's see if I can do it. So I'll go. It's almost like I'm using the power of my mind. Now, why is this useful and how does it apply to speakers? Well, this is essentially how speakers work. They use vibrations to be able to let you hear wonderful noise. And if you look at your speakers, it, like I said, in a sound system, there's always this kind of like, there's a dish, like a round shape, but there's a middle bit. And it's that middle bit that vibrates back and forth. There's a magnet in that and it vibrates back and forth when electrical signals are put in it. And because it hits, uh, it's connected to that big dish that moves back and forth and it creates these wave patterns, these sound wave patterns that then travel out. And because you've got something bigger and wider, it's able to sound louder and louder. So bigger speakers need bigger dishes or if it needs a more efficient uh, way of transferring those vibrations to cause those discs to vibrate. Now, I happen to have a snazzy little thing here which is, it's a little speaker system, but what it is, it's not just a speaker, it's like the middle bit of a speaker, and it connects to random things to be able to create sound. So what you do is you take this little sticky bit off, and when you press it, it acts as that middle bit of a speaker, creates vibrations, and if you put it connected to like a flat surface, it should be able to make the noise of a speaker, it should sound louder. So I have my phone here, and I have a song, lined up. So if I start playing the song, that's how it sounds on my phone. But then when if I connect it up into this little speaker, the middle bit, it should sound a little bit quiet, but then when I connect it to a flat surface, it should sound louder because it's acting as is. So if I have it like this, 
Kind of quiet, but flat surface. Sounds a bit louder, but this is a little bit, won't vibrate that much. Piece of Perspex, or Perspex even. So large piece of Perspex, should be able to vibrate a good bit. See how it, like, it gets louder when I put it in? So quiet. Easier to hear because the vibrations are being amplified, they're bigger. So this is like the central part of a speaker. So if I put that there. Good song. So other things that shake or vibrate, like if you get a box that you can get these signals inside to bounce around and cause it. So this will move, see that this is moved like a drum moves. So if I put it in here. Not bad, huh? Okay, we'll take it off. Quiet, 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 quiet. Perfect. Or like, would it work on these? Oh, oh, that's a, oh, that's a good idea. Actually, hold it. No. Quiet. There, put that there. Okay, sprinkles. It's gonna be like my, will this work? Okay, this is, this is awesome. I have like a sprinkle party and if I could have the sound up much up enough, it would like spray into my mouth and I would eat and I would be happy. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. What I would like you to do is to, <clears throat> Brendan, your ideas on how you could use this uh, or you die for a snack room or a post box or whatever. But in the music, have some fun. And music can speak. Look at the speakers, look at a little bit. These are delicious. We'll see you next time. Bye.